to my first 100, I had four written down, but it's just become 105, and it might even be 106 by the time this video goes up, to my first subscribers on this new YouTube channel. By you subscribing certainly helps validate my efforts that are going into this YouTube channel. So thank you so much. I wanted to quickly use this airtime for three things. One is I want to quickly explain to you how I ended up here. Second of all, what my plan is on this channel over the next, say, six or so months. And lastly, I'm really eager to get your feedback and input on future content creation right here. You see, for me, it was 12 months ago and I was in a corporate job working for an American software company. Now, on the side, for a couple of years, I was running at a business called Bike Chaser. It's an online marketplace for bikes. And that business reached a point in its maturity where it made sense for me to have a crack at it full time. So that's essentially what I did. It was about just over 12 months ago. Now, over the last 12 months, I have gone from sales guy at Bike Chaser, so selling the Bike Chaser platform to bike shops here in Victoria, focusing on this market first. We've now got about 50 dealers that use the platform, about 4,000 products. And then we reached a point, say mid to late last year, where we needed to generate leads for our clients. And we didn't have the capital to invest in Google AdWords and Facebook marketing and all this kind of stuff. So we turned to content to organically generate traffic to Bike Chaser to generate leads for our bike dealers. And in doing so, I soon recognized the power of video in terms of content creation, and then I soon understood the cost associated with video. So the only way we were gonna be able to do video on Bike Chaser was, sorry, we've just got someone at the front door. I think it's the postie. Hey, I'm just shooting a video in here, is that, it's okay if you just leave it at the front door? Thanks, mate. Yeah, so I soon realized that the cost associated with video, and if I was to do video, that we were gonna to have to do it ourselves. So I started figuring out the video equipment and I started to do the video editing software and audio editing software. And if you go to the Bike Chaser YouTube, you'll see a gradual progression in terms of the quality of video content on that station. And in fact, if you go back to the real early days, the first few videos, they're super poor and quite embarrassing and worth a bit of a laugh. So what I've personally recognized over the past 12 months through being the sales guy at Bike Chaser, through doing back-end technology administration work, through doing podcasts and articles and video, that the thing that I love doing the most is video, which is why I've set up this channel right here. Now, the plans for the next six months on this channel. Firstly, I really want to get your feedback, thoughts, and ideas on future content creation right here. Tom Gould, one of the subscribers, has already provided some really great feedback, and I'm keen to get more, because I wanna basically pull out the themes that I'm hearing from you and run hard at those, and try my best to make them come to life on this channel. Secondly, I've already heard a lot from our subscribers that they wanna see more of Lee Turner. No surprises there. His video that we did together, the 170 different cycling tips, cycling kits, I should say, has already been picked up by Bike Radar, Road CC, Cycling Tips, Bike Chaser, just to name a few. So clearly he has presence in front of the camera. And what I'm thinking for our next piece together, if Lee's up for it, I'm conscious I don't pay him a salary, is he is considered to be the mayor of one of the biggest bunch rides here in Melbourne called North Road Long. So I'm thinking maybe a short style documentary on that ride with Lee as the centerpiece. So I'd be keen to get your thoughts on that one below. Um, thirdly, I'm keen to share some of my biohacking tips with you. Over the past, say, five or six years, as I'm considering myself to be more of an aging style athlete, I'm looking for ways that I can improve my physical performance through hacks. And I've done things like the Wim Hof method, I've done fasting, I've done the Bulletproof coffee style, I use essential oils. So I'm gonna take my five or six years of experience and blend them into a number of small videos to share some of my insights that I've learned from doing these biohacks. And the next one I've got coming is one on the essential oil peppermint and how I use peppermint essential oil for improved physical performance on the bike. I've also got some more entertaining cycling videos lined up, so like the Lee Turner one. The next one of that ilk is I'm gonna head down to one of the biggest Trek dealers based here in Melbourne 
They're called Omara Cycles. Jay Omara, who is the owner of that store, he's been in the bicycle industry for 20 plus years, been in bikes his entire life. Apparently, he can change the tube on a road bike wheel faster than anyone. So we're gonna go down and film that. And then lastly, I'm thinking of creating a bit of a series on this channel. What I've recognized over the last few years is that as I'm getting older, I've got one big effort in me every year, sort of like a four or five month stint. So last year I rode the length of New Zealand in the middle of the winter. Yes, it was only over 13 days, but I did train for it. This year, I wanna finally win an A grade criterion. Now to some, that may not sound like much, but when you consider the level of rider here at the local criterium scene in Melbourne, so a whole bunch of NRS riders, the likes of Tommy Nankervis, it's actually a very difficult thing to do, unless you absolutely train your ring off. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna bring you along and document the whole process from speaking to coaches, from meeting people that are experts in physical performance, and obviously my own personal training program. So that's what I've got planned. Love to hear your thoughts below. And once again, thank you so much for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.